Remy, choose Everyone your destiny. I him to come over. Up, up, up. Oh, he answers the challenge. Yes. How about that? Errol Zimmerman challenging Remy, and Remy saying, I accept. So two of our quarterfinals are set, Jane. This is very Already? exciting. Okay. Who drew number five? Ball number five. Boom, boom, Jerome Labano in his 11th K1 World Grand Prix. Okay, Jerome Labana stomps forward. Oh, he's a man determined. He knows, he knows where exactly he's going. where he's going. Side B of the draw. Now the options become a lot slimmer for our remaining fighters. You can either face Jerome Labana or you can come onto side A of the draw, which is still open for the second quarter final. So who drew ball number six? The big man, the high tower, Simi Schult. Here he comes. Well, will he go? Maybe the most dominant K1 champion in history when he won it three times consecutive. Where are you going to go, Semi Schult? He's a Which side man. of the draw? He's going to go for Jerome. It's oh. going to be a legends match. How about that, Jane? Jerome LeBanner versus Sammy Schult. That's a match to watch. So have a look at this. We have already quarterfinal number one, Roslan Badahari. Quarterfinal number three, Jerome Semi. Quarterfinal number four, Errol and Remy Bonjaski. That means there are two men remaining who drew ball number seven. It's the Brazilian, Everton, Everton Teixeira. Teixeira. Everton Teixeira, his second ever K1 World Grand Prix tournament. There's only one place he can go, and that is into quarterfinal number two, and he chooses the blue corner. Blue corner. Which means that his destiny has already been decided for him. As far as the draw goes, he's drawn a ball number eight in his first ever Grand Prix. Alistair Overeem head towards the second quarterfinal. Have a look at this. The Golden Glory fighters are spread right across the board here. They've avoided each other in the opening round. Alistair Overeem, ball number eight, and he will meet Everton Teixeira. Lucky number eight. So, folks, all the boxes have now been filled as we just put the official names into place and we'll run through the tournament bracket I'll tell you what, I've seen every K1 World Grand Prix since 1993, and this has to be an absolutely epic lineup. You've got a real mix of fighters here now, power fighters, technical fighters, veterans, and newcomers. Let's run you through the tournament. Quarterfinal number one, Ruslan Karayev and Bada Hurry. Give them a round of applause. The winner of that one meets the winner of quarterfinal number two, Alistair Overeem and Everton Teixeira. Side B of the draw, quarterfinal number three, the legend Jerome Labana takes on the high tower, Semi Schultz. And quarterfinal number four, Errol Zimmerman calling out Remy Bunjaski. Remy accepting they will round out the field's K1 World Grand Prix 2009. We're going to hear from our fighters right now, so if the ladies would like to take the microphone, first of all to Ruslan Karayev. Ruslan, you had the first choice. Tell us about your thoughts. Да, ну я очень рад, что мне выпал первый номер. Я встал там, где я хотел. Также очень рад, что в третий раз я встречаюсь с Бадахари. Будет, я думаю, хороший бой. В общем, всей планировкой я, можно сказать, рад. Спасибо. とにかく一番というくじを引いてとても嬉しいです。一番という数字はとても好きですから。そして自分の行きたいところに行きました。一番行きたいボックスに入れました。そしてまたバタバタハリ選手と再戦するというのも嬉しいし、絶対に見応えのあるいい試合に再びなると思います。そのためにトレーニングを重ねていくつもりです。Okay, Razan Karayev and Badahari have met twice before. Razan Karayev won the first contest. Badahari knocked him out the second time. This is their trilogy. Bada 
why did you choose to face Roslan Karayev? Uh, I think uh, we always uh, make good fights, you know. I think uh, his style and my style, they, uh, yeah. they, uh, they answer to each other. So, uh, you know, I think it would be a very epic bout. And uh, I think the fans will be the big winners in this, uh, in this, uh, in this fight. And I, if I see the event, I think in this whole event. So uh, I can't wait until December 5. Okay, their last fight was one of the all-time greats. It is quarterfinal number one, Ruslan Karayev and Badahari. Alistair, you really didn't have a choice at the end of the day. It was Everton Teixeira you were going to face, given the way that the balls fell from the box of destiny. How do you feel taking on the Kyokushin Karate World Open champion? I feel uh, really comfortable fa facing uh, Teixeira. Actually, uh, I had a dream I would fight him, so it was really a strange coincidence. But uh, yeah, feeling really strong, feeling re really comfortable, and uh, we're going to train really hard, really hard for December 5. Okay, Alistair Overy meets Everton. Everton Teixeira, once again, your destiny was pretty much set for you against Alistair Overy. Your thoughts on facing this monstrous man? É, então, realmente ele é um atleta muito forte. É, assim, ele é bem agressivo. É, eu também sou agressivo. Então, acho que a luta vai ser muito, muito boa, muito bonita. E eu também vou treinar duro, muito duro para essa luta. É, 우선 이 선수는 매우 강한 선수라고 생각합니다. 하지만 저 또한 강한 선수라고 생각하기 때문에 이번 경기는 좋은 경기를 보여드리려고 많은 노력을 또는 많은 훈련을 하겠습니다. Oh, he will be preparing very hard to prepare for this battle with Alistair Overeem. Uh, he's looking forward to this fight and uh, will be preparing very hard to overtake Alistair Overeem. Thank you, Everton. Jerome Labena, the 11th time you've qualified for the K1 World Grand Prix. You could have gone to side A of the draw. You chose side B. Tell us your thinking plan. Uh, my thinking plan? I will go to, uh, to Chekoriki to train for, for this guy this time. You're going to train with Tom Harris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay, and he takes on Semi Schultz. Semi, your thoughts on showdown with Jerome LeBanna on December 5? I had dream I stand in this bracket, so that's why I stand here. Doesn't mince his words, does he, Jane? <laughs> Semi Schultz. Short and sweet. Scary man. <laughs> Bone crusher Errol Zimmerman, you actually went over to that side of the draw, and when Remy came up, you challenged him. You called him over. Remy answered the challenge which must make you happy. Why did you want Remy in particular? Because I want to fight him. I want to see where I stand. That's the reason why. And how do you feel being in that side of the draw with Semi and also Jerome? I don't care. I kick everybody's ass that day. <laughs> <laughs> He's confident Brave as always. <laughs> Remy Benjaski, he called you on and you answered. Well done. Well, uh, yeah, he called me and... The only thing is to do is uh, accept the challenge. So uh, we're gonna have, uh, I think, a good fight uh, that day. Yeah, we're gonna dance. We're gonna dance yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that, Jane? This is an epic lineup. We have once again Roslan Karayev, Bada Hari, Alistair Overeem, Everton Teixeira, JLB versus Semi Schultz, and Errol Zimmerman versus the current champion three times, Remy Monjaski. Should be some exciting matches coming up.